All right, hello everyone. Hello, Virtual Dudo, Ignesi, and I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing these names right. Hello, Jack, Bjorn, Craftmaster, Joris, 200. Good day. Oh yeah, jamming out to these tunes. Jamming so hard. So today we're gonna be doing some quick number logic stuff. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff planned for today and none of them worked out. You know, go figure. Oh, I was really, <laughs> I was really hoping that was gonna launch the chair. No, 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 I want my chair launched. I'm gonna launch my chair whether you like it or not. All right, just gotta delete it when it's going up. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Hello, a &D Robinson. And join us in Mr. Partisan. Once again, stream isn't loading for me. Thanks, work Wi-Fi. Aww. Shoot. The pro, like I might even be able to fix that for you if I just maybe streamed at a lower bit rate or YouTube was able to process it. You know, Mr. Partisan, uh, you might actually have a better experience if you just watched like 10 or 15 seconds behind instead of uh, the live show because then it gives, I don't know, YouTube some time to actually load it. I have no idea if the music's actually really loud or if it's just really loud in my ear. I put it down even lower. Uh, now it just might be so quiet that you guys can't even hear it. It might just be my headphones that, uh, hello Dylan, thank you for saying I'm awesome. Except you didn't say that I'm awesome, you said surf is awesome. <laughs> surf, you're awesome. I've never been surfing myself. But I can imagine it's pretty awesome. All right, so today we're just going to be answering a, 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 a. This might be a short stream today. Uh, we're just going to be answering a simple question. Somebody in the Scrap Mechanic Mods Discord asked, "How do you record your your input, your your control? Yeah, they want to record WASD and the numbers one through nine and zero, zero through nine, uh, all with number logic. So let's go ahead and get some number logic parts." I think that's all we're gonna need, actually. Anyway, and today we're gonna be showing that person and everyone else, all at the same time, we're gonna be answering one, uh, this question once. Eh. Probably still kinda loud, I think. Really, really? The, uh, the music? Nah, it's fine. It was kinda loud, okay. Put the volume up of your mice? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Your music is louder than you. Well, okay, it shouldn't be louder. Yeah, okay, it shouldn't be louder anymore. I'm just reading up my chat and like going back in time and I, I need to read down my chat. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get started. Gonna have a little seat. Uh, we do... Huh. This might actually be easier to do, depending on how you want the WASD to behave. This is actually something you might build differently. Um, yeah, you might want to use a mod that's, you know, let's go ahead and grab another mod. <laughs> let's go ahead and grab another mod for this. It should be uh, just a mod that has the, the, the the WASD output of the seat, but like as a single logic. It's not Intelligentia mod, is it? Oh, there it is. How's your day going today, dear? Well, my day's all right. Yeah, like I was uh, trailing off earlier. I said I had like a lot planned today. Like I had um, uh, like a multiplayer Monday edit. Funny story, we actually had that multiplayer Monday recorded uh, for a while now <laughs> and I just still never edited it so I came to the realization today that maybe I'm just gonna do a bunch of live streams like do a live stream every day and then take the rest of the time to just work on the website because I, I I hate editing to the point where it's slowing me down <laughs> I really don't like editing <laughs> so yeah well you might see some more live streams um, and then all of that recorded footage that I had is bye bye All right, there's the WASD. All 
Okay, WASD, and then we're gonna get uh, buttons for our number controls. Eight, nine, ten. All right, time to hook it all up. So the person that originally asked this question, hold on, someone's saying derf. Oh, oh, hi, doer. <laughs> I love your work. Thanks. Thank you so much. I'm out of school for the next few days due to flooding. Whoa. That's not always good. <laughs> so I'll probably be able to catch a few of the streams. Cool. Cool. Flooding's not always a good thing, though. I mean, it, it kind of depends on, like, where it happened. Or like if the if the building that was flooded gets water damage, that's kind of a big deal. Anyway, uh, the person that originally asked this question, they tried it uh, in Scrap Mechanic themselves later, and they tried it with like a memory panel for each control. That's the uh, that's the wrong way to do it. I mean, it's a way that you can do it, but it's a lot of work. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, what are we gonna do? Guys, it's been so long since I've worked with <laughs> with number blocks and binary that I forgot how to do it. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 I remember how to do it. Okay. You need to get a number. Oh my gosh, then how do you convert from binary back to... I know. I, I, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was start. I, I thought I had a plan for this stream, but apparently not. It's mostly roads flooding. Oh, okay. Love your work, dwarf. I need a regular logic gate. That's what I need. All right. So here's here's the thing that uh, probably a lot of people forgot about. Where's my paint tool? So when you're working with number logic, you count count some numbers, right? There's 11. We'll just get rid of that for a sec. Uh, if you take this... You know what? We can... What, what am I doing here? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna hook up uh, some more number, number blocks. You can ignore these two. I mean, well, you can ignore those two for now. We're not gonna be touching them. They're just gonna be. They're just. They're, just, they're gonna stay here as the uh, decimal representation of what we're doing. See, look at this. We got a number, number three, and then over here is gonna be our binary setup. We need all these digits because we don't have fancy numbers like the number two or three. So just like that. Uh, and then, to actually get this number three over here into binary, we need to hook up logic. Like so. And then that automatically changed the, uh, the decimal representation down here, three, up to 11. Well, 11 is not like, that. that's the binary represent, you, you see the 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, that's binary for three. So you can continue counting and you see the binary counter going, going nuts up there. I can't get them both in my camera view at the same time. <laughs> there you go, you just see. And this is like a pretty good visual representation of how binary counting works. Like you can just see it sort of fill up. Every segment fills up until it moves on to the next one. That it's, I mean, it, that, that's counting. Counting works all the same, no matter how many digits you use. Just, it's confusing when people see like, oh my God, you only work with two digits? Zero and one, how do you count? So they get confused like the first time they see it, but it's pretty normal stuff. So what we're doing then is we're taking this, uh, all of this as a, um, just as logic, like this. 
and this is going to be our binary input. And then we're going to convert all of these controls, all of them, into a single decimal number, and then we're going to save that decimal number in the memory panel. And we're going to do that once per tick. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to be we're able to control, uh, we're able to record 14 different buttons uh, 40 times per second in a single memory panel. Let's do this. <laughs> And then I'll, uh, then you know, we'll show you guys how to play it back. So does this even uh, does this? I mean, obviously that works. Huh? How many? How, wait. Eh. Eh. I don't have enough fingers to be pressing all these buttons. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Sixteen hundred numbers per second. Well, no, it's gonna. It's still gonna be forty decimal numbers per second. But it, yeah, it's. It, you're. We're compressing all of these individual numbers into a single number. Once per tick, wouldn't it be better to record just how long that button is? One panel, for, what? What are you even asking, Brent? <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't. Um, I mean, if you have a, a number logic setup that's more convenient to set up, but I'm just gonna use um, literally a counter block for a memory panel slot ID. So we're just gonna be counting up the slots. Less data, yeah, pff, less data. Who cares about the amount of data? But yeah, it was similar, um, similar strategy that I had with the, uh, uh, the satisfactory truck thing that I built in Scrap Mechanic. Have you ever played any Fallout game? I have. I played Fallout 3 and Fallout 3 New Vegas. I have Fallout 4. I never played it. Never ever played it. All right, so this guy just counting up the memory slots. That's all he does. Um, we're gonna need. This could probably just be the record. The record button. So whatever number inputs being inputted into that. All right. So now binary back to number. Is that just... Is that just into a single number block? I actually forget. Oh no, 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 no. I have to paint, I have to paint my binary digits too, right? Yeah, that's just adding up seven things together. Yeah, this makes sense. Just like that. Okay, cool. Except that, I don't know, we don't have more colors. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That might be a problem. Um, shoot, that might actually be a problem. Oh, the, the last row. This row, right. Okay. It's been so long since I worked with binary numbers in this uh, number logic stuff. Like, I, I, I forget completely what we even did with it. Woohoo! All right, and then in here we can get. Uh, I think we can just all stuff it into a single number input. And I don't think I have to worry about the color of that number block. So 
So if I'm pressing number 10, uh, that's just going to equal number 1, I guess. If I'm pressing number 9, that's going to be equal to number 2. And then together there's 3. There's 4. 5, 6, 7. Okay, cool. So there's no, there's no like, overlapping combination of uh, numbers. Like, I can't... There's no... What am I trying to say? I can't... <laughs> I made it so that even if I press 5, there's no, like, combination of other numbers previous before it that's going to equal to the same uh, 5. See you later, Mr. Partisan. Alright, so now that we have the number input that's actually doing its thing, we go here into the record thing. So... I guess the next part that I want is... Oh, wait a sec. Um, yeah, this output's just a number, right? Just a number, so then, yeah, I can just do the... The number blocks right out here. Okay. See you later, Joshua and Emma, David, kids, fam. <laughs> uh, that, what a name. That's honestly uh, really clever. What? Wait, you said that's honestly really clever. Oh, no. <laughs> now I just want to make like a number logic cleaver that cuts things. How am I going to incorporate? How am I going to make a smart cleaver? Why would you need to pair it to your Wi-Fi? Or Bluetooth, a Bluetooth cleaver. Why would you need that? Maybe to, you know, pull out random horror movie quotes from the internet as you're chopping things. And every time you slam it down, it plays a... Uh, you know, if only I, like, had a ton of money, I would make... <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not make a smart Bluetooth cleaver. <laughs> anyway, that was a, that was a fun tangent to get distracted with. Uh, let's just put some more logic gates here. Where where's my uh, where's my GoFundMe for my for my cleaver? Um, we actually need uh the yellow first time we needed yellow so if you're wondering what I'm doing right now uh, I think this was explained in the number number logic block video. Uh, if you run out of digits for number logic, un unlike what I did up here for the binary, I know it's uh, different cases for different things and it makes it more confusing, but uh, if you ever run out of, like, digits, like if you have a huge number in your memory panel, uh, and then you get, uh, you, you run out of digits or whatever, it's not the last Robrandt. It's not, no. <laughs> Everyone ignore Brent in the chat. <laughs> Blame Brent. This is confusing because of him. Anyway, if you're ever running out of uh, digits with number blocks, and you, you like you get to the green digit, that's your last one. The, the yellow digit is actually the entire number that you're you're splitting up, but it's like shifted down a, a bunch of digits. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I, I'm taking this 
shifted down number and then I'm I'm taking the first digit out of that shifted down number the second digit out of the shift down number the third digit the fourth and so on so this orange and red and pink it's not the same as this orange red and pink because oops by the time you get to this digit we sh we've shifted down eight digits already so this orange is actually the ninth digit. I, I'm, you know, way to just confuse my audience a tremendous amount. <laughs> Jeez. But anyway, we don't have to uh, worry about painting these. Oh, Jorah 200, thank you for the two euro super chat. I can't get you a ton of money. I can give you the, what, what? <laughs> don't feel uh, obligated to donate. I know I'm a poor boy and nobody likes me, but no, I'm just joking. Uh, don't, no, 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 no. You should never feel obligated to give a donation. I mean, of course they're very much appreciated, but geez, man, I already feel bad enough as is. Like, why, why, you, you know, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even shaking any of my body parts for you. Why are you giving me money? You know. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I can get this thing uh, working. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hook up the the recording and playback uh, all at once. I think. Let's put them on different switches for now, actually. All right. So we're gonna hop in here, press this. We're recording. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that does not look like it's working. Seven, eight, nine. That really doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> w A S A D. Get out of that. Stop. Reset. And playback. Yeah, um, the playback is working, but apparently my number digit thing isn't. Maybe Brent was right about the, uh, the color thing. Let's try it. I'm not sure that was implemented. Check it to be sure. What are you even talking about, Brent? Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Uh, Brent likes to say things without any reference to what he's actually talking about. So when he when I read his messages, like a lot of the time, I have no idea what he's even talking about. Jeez, Brent. I'm I'm assuming you're talking about the the col the number of color thing that I just deleted. Yeah, th it shouldn't be the bottom row, right? That's the decimal, that's the negative, wait, it's not the negative number, wait. Maybe, maybe it is the bottom row. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so confused. So if you guys ever get confused with, um, any job is just paying someone to shake a body part for a few hours. <laughs> I guess so, right? Oh, wait, 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 we don't even need to do this. We can just play back our already recorded footage. Six, seven, 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 eight, nine. Then W, S, A, D. There we go. We got the recording and playback perfect. Uh, now we just need to make this convenient <laughs> for someone to use. Jorif, don't worry about me. I can pay it, and I wouldn't pay it if I couldn't. I just think you deserve it. Oh, thank you so much, Jorif. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I get confused. <laughs> I get confused, and I feel bad, and... Ugh. Like, I even, I even say to my Patreon supporters, like, if I ever make it big on YouTube, I'm paying every single one of them back. I, I can't... I, I, don't, I don't feel nice <laughs> taking money from people. 
But like that's that's also probably because I'm a poor boy and I'm not making a whole lot myself. So when I see like my opportunity to donate to somebody, I'm just like, yes, I want to, but I kind of need money, so no. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know. Any anytime I see a donation, I'm like, why are you doing this? <laughs> it's just my perspective on it, I think. Obviously, it's uh, it's you know the perspective to have if you want to make it big on YouTube, right? Maybe make lots of money from donations, <laughs> uh, like the amount of work that you put into this channel versus how much, how little you get out of it. Yeah, I mean, well, you say this channel, but I mean, the thing is, if I didn't work on mods, or if I didn't do any of the side projects, or if I didn't work on a job to pay bills, and I focused 100% on this YouTube channel. Then I might be, you know, closer to where some of the other guys are at this point. Because I would have actually focused. I would have learned what I need to do to do better. Or I just would have had more content, right? Like, YouTube YouTube likes it when YouTubers just spam YouTube with tons of videos. Just hours and hours of content. Because uh, there's another, uh, another a buddy of mine. His YouTube channel, he has like uh, 60,000 subs or something. He's like triple the size of my channel, I think, by this He might be bigger than that by now. Um, yeah, and he uploads like anywhere between 6 and 10 videos a day. Uh, and they don't get very many views. Like each, every single one of his videos gets less views than uh, any one of my videos. But just because he's uploading like 6 to 10 videos a day, he's getting much more watch time. And then YouTube is just like promoting his channel more. Just because they're like, wow, this channel is being watched a lot. <laughs> and, then, and yeah, but you know, a little, little lowly channel like mine. So yeah, that's partially why I'm probably going to stream a lot more often too. Hello, Foggy Contacts. What's up? I'm creating uh, recording and playback for all of your controls. WASD and 0 through 9. So yeah, we need to make this a uh, little bit more convenient. I want to be able to, um, like, it would also be nice if we could... Uh, okay, so we need an actual thing to control, right? We need, um, 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 we're going to be controlling pistons. That was, that's, that's what we're doing. Alright, uh, so before I hook these directly into here, there's something that, uh... Huh, I just noticed Durf has a lot less subscribers than... <laughs> How do you just notice something like that? <laughs> the, you know, the sad part is I started around the same time as them, too. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's like literally just because I've... I'm the dingus that, you know, decided to start a second channel, and they're just focusing on their main channel. I'm making all these mods on the side, and they're just focusing on their channel. They did the smart thing. They, 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 they actually have uh, a career on YouTube. Anyway, uh, one thing that I, uh, okay, yeah. Before we hook this up, like, directly into the playback thing, um, maybe somebody wants to be able to control their creation. So this is the representation of their creation. Uh, just a bunch of pistons. So we could hook up all these buttons and stuff directly into the pistons, but then we don't have the playback ability. So right now we need, like, a switch or, like, a... It's an OR gate. It's literally just an OR gate. Just change all of these to OR gates, <laughs> and then we'll be fine. So this, technically it will let you, um, shoot. Hold up. There's, there's a smart way of doing this, I know there is. There's a smart way to do this. 
Okay, so... <clears throat> if we're recording... No. No, 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 no. If we're, if we're playing back... There we go. If we're in playback mode... I want a NAND gate. To hook into all of these AND gates. There we go. So, only if we're, uh, only if we're playing back the recording... Uh, tech- wait, 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 wait. Technically, this is gonna happen also for recording. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's just get- ignore that for a second. I wanted to prevent, like, uh, interfering with the playing back of the recording. You know what I mean? Hmm. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go with it. We'll let ourselves interfere with our own recorded controls. I have Sub and Bell. Oh, thank you, JT Miller. Oops. So yeah, this might be this might be a little bit more of a setup than uh, than what the the guy originally was doing with like a ton of memory panels for each one and a ton of uh, counter blocks for each one. I mean, technically, you only need one counter block for multiple memory panels if they're all doing the same thing. Hello, hi. I licked the vid. You licked the vid, huh? What does uh, what does a live stream taste like? I wonder. I mean, if I were to, like, you know, place a bunch of bombs everywhere, just like this, just everywhere, and blow up everything that I was working on, I would be pretty salty. But I don't think, I mean, I still want to know, how does this live stream taste? Probably like glass. <laughs> just do it with the other Switch, nah. Um, yeah, right? Hold on, I gotta think about it. Yeah, that's just the playback switch. You are smarter than me. <laughs> Let's uh, do a NAND gate or a NOR gate, doesn't really matter what. And then we stick that in there. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. You're exactly right. And it's a lot easier than I was <laughs> making it. It has a hint of sulfuric acid. <laughs> the real question is, how do you know what that tastes like? Alright, so with this gate on, as long as we're not playing back our, our uh, recorded stuff, uh, it's gonna let us, it's gonna let us press some more buttons. Just like that. And they go directly into our controls, which apparently are not hooked up to our pistons yet. It's buffering me, the stream? Yeah, uh, I mean... I don't know what's going on. Uh, everything on my side seems all right. Zero dropped frames. Good connection. I think it's just YouTube. This is um, not the usual time that I stream, so maybe there is some like strain on the network. I don't know where that would be though. It's crispy, crispy clear here. All right, so. We have, oh, there we go. Zoom out a little bit, just a little bit. So we can control all of our buttons directly. One, two, three, W, A, S, D. One, two, three, just like that. Cool. Cool. <laughs> all right, so. <clears throat> Yeah, 
yeah, I didn't exactly think this through. I mean, it might have been used. It might have been better just to have put the recording switch on an actual button so that I can do it from the seat. I also have to remember to put this. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm kind of a huge dingus. Also, give me a second. There's a cat pawing at me. Alright, someday soon. Someday soon I'm going to uh, start doing like some channel members. Oh, hey, that creeper boy. Thank you for the 279 super chat. Uh, you know, I think we're just going to start uh, calling them out by their color. Because the currencies are different every time. And, I mean, sometimes the currencies have a funny name. I don't know. But I'll just, I'll just do, like, Cyan Super... I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> Delete cat, you have Dono Derp. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce uh, channel memberships pretty soon. Um... Perks. Perks for that. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I gotta organize. Uh, but, um... So, a lot of the perks for, um, Patreon supporters, Twitch subs, channel memberships, which is gonna be a new thing. I'm just gonna put it all in my Discord VIP channel, because that's, like, one central place, and I don't have to deal with three different websites to try and, uh, try and give, like, special sneak peeks and stuff. Why am I even mentioning this? It's all because of my cat. My cat, my cat... He's a, he's a little guy. Well, I have four cats, actually, but this one that was pawing at me, he's a little guy. And uh, I named him Tarzan, because when he was... I got him, like, right after he was born. Uh, he had to stay with his mother for, you know, a couple weeks, obviously. But, um... After I took him home or whatever, he, like, he looked... <laughs> he still does look like it. He looks like a, a, a loincloth that Tarzan would wear. That's why I named him Tarzan. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's super cute. Like he, I think it's like one of the few male cats that I've seen that actually has more than two colors. Uh, Cause usually calico cats are like only female. Uh, but he has, um, he has uh, white, orange, brown, black, like all in weird tabby stripe pattern. Thank you so much for another 279 Super Chat. Here's more smiley face. Damn. Damn, somebody's baller. I think we'll get a lower Patreon to Tier 1 and then that debt membership. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, Jorah, it's... Or, like, anybody that's interested in the when, whenever I do... You're gonna see a video, by the way, of, like, the channel memberships are here or available on this channel, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you're, you're gonna see a video about it and I'm gonna explain all the detail, uh, details there, but the, the simplest way to explain it is that, oh, thank you, Pika Chuzzy 9 for the dollar super chat. Oh my gosh, you guys are so generous. Thank you so much. But yeah, it's just, it's just another way to support your favorite YouTuber or streamer. Like, so if you're already a Patreon supporter, you already have access to the, uh, to the VIP room in my Discord, right? So, it's, it's, um, like, for some people, the YouTube channel memberships is a more convenient option than Patreon. Some people don't sign up on Patreon at all just because they don't have the bank or the credit card set up or something like that, so, it, ju it just, you know, it's just a different option for you guys. It, ha it really means nothing compared to YouTube or Patreon or Twitch sub. I'm gonna start treating all of them the same, uh, and then... Patreon does have different tier levels. Channel memberships also has uh, different tier levels. So there might be like a, there might be, you know, a different tier for like extra super sneak peeks. I don't know. You guys got to understand. I don't give anything to my supporters. <laughs> like my VIP, my, even my uh, bestest, bestest Patreon supporters. I don't give them mod sneak peeks. You can ask them yourself. I just release the mod like as soon as it's ready to go to the public. I just release it, so they don't get they don't get any early access period or anything. 
<laughs> so, uh, that's, uh, again, part of the reason why I feel bad every time I get a donation, because, like, I don't do anything for this. <laughs> why, why are you giving me money? <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I even doing? Oh, oh, Allison Hunter, I saw you. What's up? Uh, we're doing, we're doing number logic stuff. We're gonna record all of our inputs. We have WASD and an, uh, 0 through 9 all on, um, uh, you know, all just hooked up to the seat. And we have them going straight to the pistons, as you saw just now. And, um... <clears throat> right, right. The last thing that we're doing is... Uh, here is... This has to be the playback switch. Okay, and this has to be the recording switch. And the recording switch must... Okay. Cool, 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 cool. One more thing. One more thing that I gotta add on. I know you guys are probably like, what are you, you didn't even say what you just added. What are you adding, Durf? All right, so this white tick button on a NAND uh, gate, it's just every time I'm recording, just like this, and then I stop recording, bam, it automatically resets this back to slot zero. So I don't have to go, you know, I don't have to get out of my seat and just go, boop, re uh, resetting that. It's rewinding. There we go. Rewinding it back to the beginning. I'm pretty sure that if you donate through Streamlabs, YouTube doesn't get a cut. Um, YouTube gets like a small cut from Super Chats. Streamlabs is, uh, it is more of a direct donation, but there is like a, a, a PayPal transaction fee. Which, it, like, obviously is much, much smaller. Also, thank you, Dead Creeper Boy. Oh my gosh, $6.99. What the heck? Okay, this is a bit much. I'm feeling generous. To yeah, no kidding. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Jeez, Murphy. You just got... Uh, you just got... I think that's the, the highest super chat of this stream. It's not even that long of a stream. What are you guys doing? Why... Maybe I just need to be streaming uh, more often in the evenings. That's when all the rich people come out to play. <laughs> He's using his mom's credit card. <laughs> Jeez, that would that's a, that's a bad thing. Not not even for the reasons that you think. Like stealing money from your parents, that's not a, as big of a deal, but like ruining your mother's credit rating, that's a big deal. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't definitely don't do that. You're going to you're going to ruin things for your entire family if you do that. Don't do that. Nuclear dirt. Okay, so we can use this to make Pascal Brulil. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce don't know how to pronounce that last name. Oh, hey you senpai, it's me, Dr. Fail. Been a long time. My goodness. <laughs> oh jeez, and I just saw Jorit. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I mean, Jorit, I you're you're trying with that 10 euro a just like slightly too late. You tried to get that top super chat spot, but <laughs> Dr. Fail came in just a split second earlier and stole it from you. Oh my goodness. How's it going, Dr. Fail? Yeah, it has been a very long time. Thank you so much for those donations. Jesus, Murphy. Way to just show up. <laughs> Way to just show up. That creeper boy is just like, damn boy. <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> Jeez, you guys are way too generous. I didn't even finish reading that message there. So we can use this to make macros for dynamic controls for complicated movements. Yes, you kill it. You could do that. Whew. <laughs> you guys. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like you, you'd probably have to figure out because like um, well maybe maybe we could spend a little bit more time today and and make a, a macro thing. But uh, this setup should be it, right? Right. This is the playback. No, no, no. This is the recording. This is the playback. Okay. And then do we also... When we're not... When we're not playing back, we also reset? Yeah. Okay, cool. And, uh, Dat Creeper Boy with another dollar super chat. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should I you know, I know these guys. I know these other uh, rich boys over here just like showed you up Don't uh, you don't ever feel obligated to you know answer back to them 
<laughs> Don't ever do that, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. You're gonna make so much money today. I know, right? It's almost like it was a good thing that I didn't edit Multiplayer Monday. <laughs> I actually decided to stream... I mean, uh, in all honesty, in all honesty, I did say that I was going to stream more often. And if every stream, if every stream that I do like is like this, then heck yeah, I'll stream every day, every single day. Oh my goodness, you have no, <laughs> no. I obviously can't, I obviously can't expect things to be like this every single day. You guys are just hyping up on this generosity, and I have no idea what, how to, how to handle it. Make a flubber plane for multiplayer Monday. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll stream every day. See, the thing is, I, I don't mind streaming, I just really detest editing. <laughs> so, do stream also give ad revenue? Yeah, the stream VOD that plays later, like, at, when it's not live, uh, and then people watch it again later, yeah, there's ads on there. I think, um... I think recently I just completely removed, um, the non-skippable ads from my channel entirely. They weren't making they weren't making my channel a whole lot of money anyway, and I I personally find them very annoying, so I removed them entirely. I and it didn't seem to make much of a difference. So I, I like it. I like it. Anyway, what was I what was I doing here? Okay, we're we're gonna record now. We're gonna record a thing today, right now. Uh let's just do we're recording. Let's do um WS WWAD 3875690. Get out of here. Stop recording. Playback. Anybody remember the order that I just said? WS WW 38. Oh wait, no, wait, that was AD 3876. I don't, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I don't care, I think I put over 100 euros on dirt. None of it was for fame or status, it was for dirt. Oh, thank you so much, Jorad. Yeah, I, like, I mean, like I said, you guys must be <laughs> rich AF to even be able to do this. I have no idea how you guys are doing that. Scrap Mechanic community may be small, but it's great. It's actually, the Scrap Mechanic community is actually huge. But I think a lot of it's just like, um, like there's a huge Russian community, there's a huge Polish community, there's a huge uh, uh, Chinese community, there's a huge... <laughs> you might be... <laughs> oh, jeez. You might be wondering why I'm laughing right now. <laughs> um, I didn't... I, You know, I don't want to be racist or anything but i didn't i it just my brain was it almost said coronavirus community okay it just shush <laughs> didn't mean to it just my brain sort of did it and I, that's why i was like uh uh will you make new customization plaque uh, pack please yeah so part of the reason why i want to do just a bunch of live streams now is um <laughs> Um, part of the reason why I want to do mostly live streams now is that, like, it, it takes, I, I really don't like editing. It takes me way too long, and, I mean, as much as I love the, the, the produced content of, like, a well-edited video, I don't, uh, I, I just don't like doing it. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, that's gonna free up a lot of my other time. Uh, so if I just, my, my schedule is gonna be, like, live streams and working on the website. So the website, if you don't know already know, like I'm working on a Scrap Mechanic Mods website, it's like an alternate workshop. So on that website then, I want to put the individual customizations. Things like, um, well, just in general, a lot of Scrap Mechanic Mods has to wait for the survival updates, because the survival updates definitely going to break a lot of things in Scrap Mechanic, so it'd be kind of pointless for me to like work on a bunch of those things just to have them break, just for me to have to work on them again. Uh, and so since we know that Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode is going to be coming out in the next couple of months, maybe, supposedly, um, since it's coming out in the next couple of months, it's not too bad to just wait a couple of months, right? Uh, and then uh, 
wait survival again <laughs> no i mean hey the developer said q1 2020 first quarter of 2020 that means january february march right so i'm gonna assume that means march 31st but hey <laughs> I'm gonna assume that means March 31st or or April 1st. Ha ha, April Fools. Ha ha, you thought survival was coming out. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I, I don't think, like, I you know, the customization pack. Hop onto the uh, Scrap Mechanic Mods Discord. There's already, like, a, a customize, like, the, the last customization pack download. Some of the stuff is updated, some of it is working, so we'll get you hooked up with the the last known working customization pack. Hop into the uh, Scrap Mechanic Mods Discord for that. Just ask for it, and I'll, I'll get in there sometime and give it to you. Um, but yeah, f for the future, though, I want to invest in this uh, alternate workshop, this website, where I can just put the customizations individually, and then you can browse through them like, oh, I want my connection dots to be big, I want them to be star-shaped, I want them to be triangle shaped or whatever and then you know you just choose the individual customization then my credit card company just called me and asked why i spent 15 dollars on youtube really <laughs> why why would they even ask that though youtube has a uh, youtube premium i mean it's not I, 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 i'm <laughs> really i don't i don't know i don't know if they would actually call you for that it's only 15 dollars. it's not that big i mean why <laughs> Why is your credit card company worried that you're spending $15? You just have to pay them back with interest. <laughs> so, usually, usually credit card companies are happy that you're spending money because it just means you owe them, right? The more in debt you are, uh, the better they do. Honestly, at worst, it will come out mid to late Q2. Yeah, see, that's kind of weird that despite, you know, Axelot Games never never really gave an official announcement for anything, really. Any release date, ever. And we got stuff, like uh, challenge mode, mod support, a bunch of stuff. They never gave any indication for it, though. But then all of a sudden, survival mode, like they haven't given an indication for it for years, then all of a sudden they're saying Q1 2020, this is the first time that they're saying a definitive date, a time frame, that they're definitely going to release it. So... I don't know, either they just avoided doing that in the past because it puts a lot of pressure on them and they don't like having that pressure on them, or they are very confident that they will be able to do it. So I think, um, yeah, I, I, I'm i not sure if it's, like, I, I'm pretty, I, I can be a little bit more confident that it's going to come out in March just because they actually gave a date this time, you know? They will just randomly release it. Yeah, not even let anybody know, like, survival's coming out tomorrow, nope. They just release it randomly one day, nobody notices, and then, uh, you know, some YouTuber starts up a live stream and they're like, hey, what's this button? It says survival on it. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that honestly might be a good way to release survival, because, like, the, the, the players, the people, will hype that up so much more than they ever could on Twitter. So that, <laughs> that, that'd be pretty funny, actually. Anywho... <clears throat> So yeah, this uh, we have this uh, working. Oh, we're still playing back. Whoops, <laughs> whoops, we're still playing back a bunch of stuff. So anyway, this is the complete setup. I completely forgot who even was it. I think their name was Unknown. Unknown in the Scrap Mechanic Mods Discord, they were asking how to record, <clears throat> how to record their controls and then play them back. And uh, here's how you do it, all within a single memory panel. You convert, <clears throat> you just gotta like pretend all of your controls are digit, uh, digits of a binary number. It is also somewhat possible to do this with um, the the mod pack number logic stuff. Uh, th these guys right here. It's also slightly possible to do it with these WASD controls, but these come out as... Um... <laughs> That's right, if you connect more than 10 things, they all just labeled as 10. They still work, though. Anyway, there is... Uh, you just have to do it, like, another way. So, <clears throat> um, if you really wanted to use the number logic, like, if you really, really wanted to use it... Uh...
There you go. You do this. So there's W. Whoopsie. W. Well, I got A and S mixed up. <laughs> My A and S is backwards. <laughs> but whatever. You get the point, right? It's, it is it is possible to do it with nothing but number logic, but this is a little bit faster. Uh, it's like that one tick more responsive just because it's a... Uh, you know, we, we need to add a uh, just a straight-up WASD mode in the math block. Just a W function, just an A function, just a, you know, just a button press function. It'd make things a little bit simpler. Because one of the biggest problems with uh, logic and scrap mechanic is this delay between parts. Like, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick. Like, how many ticks is that just to get from the seat to the piston? Too many. Too many. Thank you so much, Dad Creeper Boy, for another super chat. My gosh, you guys are going crazy tonight. What is this? <laughs> oh, jeez. I, like, just finished explaining. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Go check if there's a survival button on the main screen. There won't... There, I mean, there won't be. There won't be. You know, uh, somebody in the Scrap Mechanic Modding Discord already modded a survival button into the main menu. And there is a, a survival button in the main menu. Like, if you look in the files, there's a technically a spot for the button there. If Hey, if you go really deep into the game files, there's survival mode stuff all over the place. But there's no actual survival mode. <laughs> there's, like, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing really even for mod makers to play around with too much. Hello, Jensen. <clears throat> Alright, Allison, uh, are you still in the chat? Are you still in the chat? Maybe we can, uh... Try that macro idea real quick. But yeah, this was only supposed to be a short stream. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end it pretty soon. Usually I do uh, a live stream for like two hours, but today is only gonna be one hour maybe. We're already coming up at that one hour mark. Oh my god, he actually I joined a little late. My bad. No worries. Dragon, Dragon Pranks. What a name. Is it, it, so, wait. Yeah, that's pronounced... <laughs> it's pronounced dragon. What? That's crazy. Durf, can you show your creation working? I missed it. Sure, 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 sure. Let's do it. So this... <clears throat> it, again, it was uh, on... I'm gonna have to, like, ping the guy in the in the Scrap Mechanic Mods Discord and show him the stream bod. Uh, but, um... So this is uh, all of your controls, WASD and 0 through 9. They're all showing up on the top row logic there. I'm just zooming in a little bit. So there's one, two, three. You see them all doing the thing. And uh, those pistons out there represent your creation. Your creation can be anything. So whatever you press WASD, like it can control your vehicle. You can drive around, you can press any other buttons. You can control your vehicle directly. Let's also, uh, we're gonna hop out here. Which one was recorded? <laughs> I always forget which one's which. <laughs> I'm gonna paint them right now. Um, okay. This one's playback. The one down here is record. Alright. So if we hit the record button, and then hop in, anything that we press, I mean, yeah, it's gonna go through, it's gonna go through to our creation. Uh, again, this is very similar to when I built the satisfactory truck, that, like, you program the, the path and it automatically follows the checkpoints that you set. Um, so yeah, let's do like three, 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 four, and that'll just be the end of our recording. So we stop our recording. It automatically resets the like it rewinds, and this is the button to playback. And we'll just sit here and watch, watch the things that I just pressed. So around the end, we'll see uh, three, 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 and then four. Durf, hi. The way to say hi, the way to say my name is. <laughs> Riffier? Rifier? There's three, 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 and there's four. Yeah, so that's um that's how you can record and play back all of your controls. All 14 of them. Uh you know, with a resolution of like 40 ticks per second. So it's a I mean, technically that's the all the resolution that you need, because that's what Scrap Mechanic operates as. But, like, if you press a button, 
I don't know. For some reason, these buttons feel more responsive than 40 ticks per second. I don't know. There's one more thing, though, that I want to try. Let's go ahead and record. We're going to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to stop that. Now we're going to try and play back, but also press stuff at the same time. I'm just going to start mashing WASD. And there you go. You can see none of that shows up while it's playing back. So you don't have control over your creation while it's playing back. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Only the recording. Only the recording is played. So that that's exactly how I wanted it. <clears throat> Derf, whenever I type your name, it comes up with surf. Yeah. Yeah. That's English for you. Not understanding where the name Durf comes from. <laughs> Jeez. Durf, yo Durf, is it just me or has SM kind of died to a small degree? At least for me, I have noticed it's been getting less and less traction. Um, I mean that happened like two years ago. Like when, when big, big YouTubers stopped playing it, that's pretty much when you know when it died. And then, and then just the enthusiasts stayed over. So then what you're talking about is like the second death when all the enthusiasts start to get bored of scrap mechanic. <laughs> that's that's the second like it's it's super dead. <laughs> uh no, it's not uh, I I don't think uh, scrap mechanic's losing traction necessarily, but I think um I think the development of scrap mechanic just like was so my gosh. I I don't I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It just it wasn't even if uh, even if you gave the game studio like a new director, would would he have known what to do with that project? Like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I think it's gotten to a point where like I think the biggest frustration with scrap mechanic development is that a lot of the people that first got into it, they were like in high school when they were introduced to it. That was like back in 2016, but now we're in 2020, and that's four years later, which is the length of high school. So. Everybody that was into Scrap Mechanic when they were first introduced into it, they're now too busy with college and university to be playing it anymore. You know what I mean? So that that's like the that's the probably the biggest frustration I think with uh, Scrap Mechanic development is that all these people bought Scrap Mechanic thinking they were going to enjoy it, and now it's like too late, almost, right? <laughs> I don't know, but that doesn't necessarily mean Scrap Mechanic is dead because. Technically, Axelot can just like ditch that entire old audience and uh, focus entirely on new, new audience. Just like advertise the crap out of survival mode and get a bunch of new high school students. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's all it is. <laughs> so I, I don't necessarily think uh, Scrap Mechanic is dead, but you're definitely gonna see some big, big YouTubers play some Scrap Mechanic again uh, with this survival mode release, I think. And then that might bring some more traction, but. Again, it really depends, right? Like, a lot of people have told me personally that the reason why they are staying with Scrap Mechanic is because of the mods. Uh, so... Then that raises the question, if I never did anything, if I never even touched Scrap Mechanic, would Scrap Mechanic still be as big as it is today? And I don't like to ask that question because, first of all, it's like incredibly arrogant and egotistical to think that I actually had any effect on that at all. <laughs> But, I, I mean, with a number of people that told me that, I don't know, I can't ignore it. But the point, the point is then, um, even after survival mode releases, what is that going to do to the current mod support? What is that going to do to the, the modding community? What is that going to do, like, how we were talking about uh, earlier, how, like, the, the, the customization pack is going to be pretty much broken uh, with, when survival mode is updated. And, you know, this is to be expected. It's not like the developers are doing that on purpose. Like, haha, mod makers, we're going to break your stuff. No, it's just because the game updates and the mods are assuming an old version. So we need to update the mods for the new version. Um, but, like, the... I don't know. The developers... For example, for example, challenge mode, having mod support or not having mod support. That's, uh, that's like, just a plain old decision that the developers made and they just said nah no mod support for challenge mode so in my opinion that not only was a terrible decision but that's a decision that also pushes people away from their community um 
and then I think about that, like, why why would they dis why would they choose to do that? Unless they personally believed that it was actually going to, like, if they added mod support, that it was going to ruin their game. Which is kind of silly. I think. But, I, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, Derek, you certainly... You, you're certainly made a impact on the SM community. <laughs> I know, right? There's so, The things that I say about Scrap Mechanic and, like, modding and the website and the developers, I speak like a Scrap Mechanic politician. It is not a good thing. <laughs> it is not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> and there are certainly some people that really don't like me. I couldn't tell you why, because... But, you know, it it's also happens with YouTube, too. The worst part about YouTube is that if people don't like your stuff, they don't tell you why. <laughs> they really don't tell you why. So if you do horribly on YouTube, if you do, like, not successful at all, you'll never know why. <laughs> That's really the... the the problem but the same thing applies to like uh the modding community as it applies to like every community what time is it in my country it's 6 32 p.m but yeah there are some there are some people remember when i got a copyright strike a takedown notice on a youtube video because another mod maker didn't like that i was publishing my mod <laughs> oh that, that was some fun times oh boy that was some fun times Anyway, Durf, I'm going to leave. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much, Dead Creeper Boy. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, it, again, it was just supposed to be a short stream tonight. So thank you so much. I'm going to uh, give everyone a shout out right now for all these donations. You guys are super generous. Jorat200, Dead Creeper Boy, Dead Creeper Boy again, Pikachuzzy, Dead Creeper Boy. Oh my gosh, flexing so much. Pascal, oh, that's Dr. Fail with the 20 euros. My gosh, the baller. Then the ballers come out again with uh, another one from Jorat and Dad Creeper Boy again. Thank you guys so much. You guys are super, super generous. And, like, honestly... <laughs> honestly, Patreon channel members, they mean nothing. Because you guys basically gave, um, like, a tier... Tier, uh, tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 support on Patreon. Like, for an entire month. You guys... What do you... I, I don't understand. I don't understand how this works. I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you donating on a live stream when you can get uh, a Patreon tier? Right? You get like, you know, you get bonuses and, and perks for that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I've been through an entire stream. Woo! I know, right? That's just a short stream, though. So, you know, half woo. Bye, Durf. I'm about to eat dinner if my cat will get... <laughs> You know, that's uh, that's fun. Yeah, the cat, Tarzan, guys. I got to introduce you to Tarzan sometime. He, I, the, I, the reason why I brought him up earlier was because uh, something that I did a while ago while editing, I was just, I have two monitors. One, I put uh, my editing software on one monitor, and then on the other monitor, I just put YouTube, um, and I searched videos for cats, and it's quite literally this guy put uh, a camera outside on a hiking trail, and he put a bunch of uh, uh, nuts on like a tree stump. So a bunch of birds and squirrels come and my god, my cats are addicted to YouTube now. He literally jumps up on my lap and starts looking at my monitor like waiting, where's the birds, where's the birds? And he doesn't leave me alone now. I made a mistake. I made a mistake and I got him addicted to YouTube. What have I done? <laughs> but anyway, he's like the cutest thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you guys Tarzan someday. Hey Derek, can you make interactive parts like the number pad with a door? Um. No. I mean, yes. Here, let me just show you real quick. Do we have, um... We don't have the number pad in here, do we? Or is that a mod pack beta part? Yeah, it's in here. Uh... Um... If I recall correctly... Yeah, we just need... I was, like, literally, literally about to end the stream. <laughs> But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna build this like super quick. See if we can uh, do a thing. It's something that you build. It's not something that you, like you don't ask for a mod part. This all in one, all in one part like that. This is something that you build. So the number pad is a little bit strange. It's kind of like a counter block with a bunch of controls built into it. Uh, so you can do, you know, five, two, six, and then it's all like, it, it's stored in there. That's five, two, six. You can backspace, go back to 5-2, you can do 5-2-5, five, five, 
and then enter is a logic signal. So if you want to, um... There you go. So if you wanted to enter a door, like th this is how you build your your door. You check the number, you check the number input, and then the the, the logic input for the enter button, just like that. You see the the, the thing flash, beep, boop, bop, 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 beep, just like that. So that's how you build your door with uh, number logic. It's not um. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly something that like I, I think a mod maker can make a number pad all in one like a security door entrance thing, but um, the things that a mod like a mod maker can't they can't make a part that has collision, right? They can't make a door that has collision and then all of a sudden does not have collision, like magically doesn't have it. That that that's that's not happening. It doesn't happen with mods. So this is something that you definitely have to build. You build your door the way that you want, and then you build the systems that control it. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello, Durf. Are you feeling good? Good day? I am feeling good day. Yeah, it, it, you know, I'm feeling good because I was up in the middle of the night trying to edit Multiplayer Monday for today, and then I just sort of, like, passed out, and that didn't happen, so I decided to stream today instead. Durf, 30k subs cat reveal, 100k face reveal. Uh, d yeah, that's actually pretty close to what I had planned already, actually. <laughs> I was planning, uh, again, when I uh, do the channel memberships, and uh, I, I do, like, I mentioned earlier that, like, I, I do nothing for my Patreon supporters, <laughs> so I want to do something for my Patreon supporters, uh, and I do, like, I have an Instagram, but I never posted it there, uh, I never posted on Instagram, but I'm thinking maybe I'll, you know, share a bunch of cat pics with my Patreon supporters or something, I don't know. I don't know. And then, you know, whenever I get to 30,000, I'll release the Instagram upon the world. And then you will see. Haven't I seen your face already? No. Th there was, like, a an old face pic of mine on Patreon. But it was, like, um... It was heavily distorted because I recovered it from an old cell phone. Funny story. Funny story. I have, uh... Wait, l l hold on. Let me look around. One, two, three, four, five. Five functional cell phones that will work for calls and text, I think. Um, and then there's like three or four other cell phones that are completely broken or bricked. Like what, one of them's uh, nothing but a circuit board right now. Anyway, why do I have all these cell phones, you might ask? Because <laughs> I don't buy any phones. <laughs> I don't buy, anyway, why, why am I even talking about cell phones? What happened? I completely forgot why I'm bringing this up. Durf, do you know you're one of the reasons of the success of Scrap thanks to your mods? I have almost never played vanilla Scrap Mechanic. Thanks for your work, it's amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Nathan. Oh, warm fuzzy feelings, thank you so much. I'm, g I'm gonna give you hugs in the chat. Hugs in the chat. Durf, is it possible to make any key block reader wait what any key reader block thing okay so you're talking about like um you're talking about like uh like one of these guys except that instead of instead of multiple parts it's a single part and then whatever whatever key you're pressing like WASD z 0 through 9 it'll spit out a number like basically the thing that we built right here but you want it as a single part i'm pretty sure that's possible to do Pretty sure that's possible. I'm, I'm not exactly sure if that's possible, but a single part that does all this is possible. Now, if you're asking about an any key, like if I can press G, H, J, K, L, if I can, you know, use the number pad or press the home key to control a thing, that's not possible with uh, Scrap Mechanic Mod Support. Not at all possible. That might be possible with uh, some very fancy data mods in the future, but it's not something that like don't even bring that up in the modding community not that uh not that anybody's gonna care if you do but it, like just i i know for a fact there's like very very little people that even know about <laughs> getting into that so <laughs> there is very little point in asking the, the simple answer is just that the mod support the developer's mod support doesn't support it jerf can you make ui for parts like the minis mod has 
yes, and that was something that we did have planned in the future, uh, to, like for the mod pack and all that stuff. We did want to uh, improve it, but generally speaking, we focus on function, uh, function before fashion. So, as long as it works, <clears throat> as long as it works, then uh, it's it's working. <laughs> when is the next stream, please? Well, um, tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. Tomorrow, maybe. Well, 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 what are we gonna play tomorrow? What are we gonna play tomorrow? Guys, we played Scrap Mechanic today. There's a, a there's uh, so many games that I need to play, too. Uh, I got a game called Mechanic Miner. Blasphemous. I could play some Mario Maker 2. That's another game that I wanted to get into. Um, I have Garfield Kart Furious Racing. <laughs> We're gonna... Roboco, yeah, that's, in a, that's a game that I could do a live stream on. Blasphemous? As far, as far as I know, Blasphemous is like a 2D Dark Souls. It's really interesting. I haven't played it yet, but I'm really interested in playing it. See you later, Arborino. Play this cool new game called Scrap Mechanic tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Play it tomorrow. Space Engineers. Do I even have that game? I do not. I don't have it. Ooh. Anyway. Anyway, I think um, I think that's actually it for today. <laughs> uh, definitely spent a little bit more time uh, answering. It was it was a nice Q and A. Yeah, is there anything else that I wanted to do? Not really. So let me go ahead and save this, actually. What am I doing here? I don't need any of this. Let me just go ahead and save this. We're going to stick it on the workshop. And then I'll just uh, pop the link for that guy that wanted this. What? Er. There we go. Um, sure. Uh, 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 red switch. Record. Green switch. Playback. Hopefully those are enough instructions. Oh, oh, I should actually upload it to the workshop, right? <laughs> uh, you guys uh, weren't supposed to see this. <laughs> but for those that are curious, uh, I mean, you, you probably saw I have a keyboard cat video. I have um, Baby Yoda. Wait, no. Did I do a tune? I didn't do a tune for Baby Yoda. I did the La Cucaracha for the the Homer Simpson car. I'm talking about um, whenever I do... Uh, whenever I do a... Uh, I mean, can I just build this and show you guys? Thank you, Jorix200, for the $1. I think that's a direct donation. That wasn't a super chat. Thank you so much, man. So yeah, this was something uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a future video eventually. But uh, this was some. This is a recording studio for um, the the type of songs that I did in uh, in those videos, like uh, of um, um, keyboard cat. Keep yeah, keyboard cat, like Kukaraja, like all those digital songs that I make with the smart Toadbot heads. Oh, and Mr. Wobble Quack. There we go. That's that's a famous one. I use uh, I use this thing. So here I actually choose the the, the notes that I want to play, uh, the number of ticks that I want to. Oh no! Wait, this is the increment. Okay, this is the increment value. How uh, like the the beats per minute, and then here I choose the note length. So it's like a short uh, like a eighth note, quarter note, um, half note, <laughs> like uh, stuff like that. <laughs> I completely forget how to use this thing already, so that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. I'll have to figure out how to use that. But anyway, that's how I record. Uh, that's how I record smart Topot head songs now. It's much easier than the the, the way that I used to do it before. Oh boy, 
Is it possible to have more wire connection dots in one part? No, it is not. Only one per part. All right, all right. Actual ending the stream right now, for sure, for series this time. I'm gonna prove it by exiting the game. There you go. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining me this evening. Thank you so much, Jorth, that creeper boy, Pikachuzzy, Pascal, and Jorth, and that creeper boy again. <laughs> Thank you so much for those donations. You guys are super, super generous. Definitely, uh, definitely had a lot of fun. All right. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> YouTube, thank you for cutting out my audio right as I decide to end the stream. Bye, everyone.